Good afternoon, everybody. Can y'all hear me? I can't hear you, though. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so thank you for taking the trek all the way over here to the beautiful Green Music Center in Shorter Hall. This is pretty awesome, right? How many of you all have had classes in here already? Oh, a bunch of you. Okay, cool. I love this space. It's awesome. It makes me feel like I'm a comedian with a mic. That I can go up here and do all these jokes and stuff. But I'm not. That's not what I'm going to be doing. Um, so for those of you who do not know me, my name is Alvin Nguyen. And I am the coordinator for the large lecture portion of this class, University 238 Foundations of Leadership. And what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of minutes is just explaining how the large lecture format works, why you're here, what you should expect, and all of that stuff. So as you've noticed when you enrolled in the class that there's a large lecture portion that is today, Tuesdays from 12 to 1250. And then you also have your discussion section on the different days that you enrolled in. So for the days on, for Tuesdays, what you can expect is each week is going to be focusing on a different chapter of the book that you're using, Exploring Leadership. And we're going to be bringing in a variety of different people to come and do some presentations. It may be faculty, staff, people from Sonoma State. It could be students. It could be members of local organizations. It could be anybody. And really what I'm having them do is to come and to provide from their own personal experiences examples of how leadership has played out in their life. Right? So that's what you can expect every week. The purpose of this class, in my eyes, is for you all to be able to take some time and do some self-examination, really figure out what your interests are, why it is that you may want to practice leadership in your own lives, and be able to find ways and establish a plan in which you can apply that practice. So that's what I want you all to take away from it. I'm going to ask you all a couple questions, though. I'm just kind of curious. Why are you in this class? Yes, sir. So Josh is here to make a difference and learn about ways to make a difference, right? Everyone's looking away from me. That's funny. <laughs> Anthony wants to be a CSA or a peer mentor. So he's in this class to meet the requirements of the leadership application. Great. I'm going to do one more. And I'm going to go blue sweatshirt hooded. Nice and loud. Awesome. So you all have different reasons to be here. Some of you want to make a difference. Some of you want to be in a leadership position. That's exactly what I was saying earlier. I want you all to be able to walk away at the end of the semester identifying what it is that you're passionate about, what it is that you want to do on campus, what it is that you want to do during your college career, what it is that you want to do after you graduate from college, and think about how you will actually be able to put that into practice. If that happens, then I'm happy. My soul is fed and I know that I did my job well. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna start inviting the faculty to make their way towards the stage, and then I'm gonna have the TAs come out. Yes. A round of applause for the TAs, please. So the TAs play a really crucial role in this class, not only in the large lecture, but in your discussion sections. They're going to be right there alongside you, mentoring you in terms of leadership, their thoughts on it, so on and so forth. Um, so these, this is the face of this class. Um, well, the faculty are important too, but these are, oh, here we go. Give them a round of applause. So I'm going to have the TAs introduce themselves. Hello, everyone. I'm Veronica Saxer. I am in Alexis Shapiro's class. Um, I am a CSA, and I have been for three years, and I've also done this class for three years. Hello, everyone. My name is Bobby Chokolov. I am Alvin's TA, and I have been a peer mentor for the past two years, and I'm an economics major. 
Hi, my name is Lauren Dangerfield. I am Bruce Peterson's TA. I um, have been a peer mentor, a bridge leader, and some other stuff. So <laughs> I can't remember it all. Hello, my name is Jamie Holmes. I am the TA for Kristen Denver. Um, my major is early childhood studies and I am a themed living advisor on campus. Hi, my name is Kayla Yonke. I am the TA that works with Tremaine. I am a Hutchins major and I am a themed living advisor on campus. Hi everyone, my name is Alex Parkhurst. Um, I'm a third year English major. I've been a peer mentor for two years and this is my third semester as a TA for University 238. So. Thanks, bye. Thank you. And I'm going to now have the faculty step forward and introduce themselves. All right. Hi. Thanks, everybody. My name's Kristen Denver. I've been teaching on and off at Sonoma State University since 2006. And I don't know, sometime before that, I was a student here also. Um, I'll be teaching two sections of this class. I uh, also teach in the psychology department and in the EOP Academy. What's up, guys? Good to see you. Um, and looking forward to seeing that I'll be working with this semester. Thank you very much. Have a great, have a great time. I'm Kirsten Serupi, and I also teach in School of Ed in the Cadential Program. And I, this is about my fourth or fifth time teaching this. And Jenny Barwick is my TA, but you couldn't come. So I look forward to another good year. I've had fun in the past. Hi, you guys. My name is Alexis Shapiro. Um, I'm going to be teaching a section of leadership this semester with you guys. Uh, some of you will be in my discussion section. I also teach in the English department here on campus, so I see some familiar faces out there in the crowd. I look forward to the semester. Hi, everyone. My name is Bruce Peterson. I'm teaching with Lauren. Um, how many people out there are in our section? Just raise your hand. All right. Excellent. So, you guys, I have already sent you a couple of emails. Please look at them before Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Class has already started. Um, just to let you guys know, I'm actually retired. And I'm lucky enough that I get to come back every semester and teach a class or two. And along with everything I did at the university, I think teaching this class was my most favorite. Um, I was an academic advisor for many years. I was an EOP advisor. I was actually the associate director of EOP. Um, and it's just a real delight for me to be back here. And one little hint about this class, this is not Freshman Seminar 2. This is an academic class. We're going to push you guys. We're going to take you out of your comfort zone. And hopefully, you're going to look forward to every single class we do. I think you guys are going to love this class. Um, hello, my name is Casey LaBarbera. I'm teaching the Monday section with Kayla Brown. And I also work full time for the Associated Students. Last but not least, hello, everyone. Hey. Let's see, I'm Tremaine Austin Dillon. I am an area coordinator for residential life for Sauvignon Village. Any Sauv East folks, Alicante, Burgundy, Calambar, Fume, right? And this is my um, first time teaching this course. I am teaching the afternoon section at four o'clock today. I'm really excited to meet all of you. Um, I'll see you soon. All right, round of applause for them, please. All right, so we're going to move into the next section of today's class, and I'm going to hand it off to the TAs. Hey, guys. So we're going to do a quick, fun, like, silly activity, and we're just to find out who's in the room. So I'm going to ask you guys to please stand up and make some noise or clap or something if you're from Northern California. Anybody from Southern California? <laughs> what about Central California? <laughs> Out of state international? <laughs> Anybody a freshman? <laughs> Do we have any sophomores? <laughs> Juniors? <laughs> any seniors? <laughs> Does anybody consider themselves a leader? <laughs> How many of you guys are applying for a leadership position on campus? <laughs> and last but not least, does anybody consider themselves a seawolf?
Okay. All right, as you can see, we can all come together and be in one community. So we're going to work together this semester and see what the best brings. So guys, I just saw everybody get up at the end because in the beginning we had people going, oh, I'm from NorCal, I'm from SoCal, I'm from Central Cal, and so forth. But now when we said Seawolf, everyone got up, right? Because we're all one big community. And so as this big community, we have a commitment, something called the Seawolf commitment, actually, that it holds us to certain rules, in a way, to a standard. And I think this is a great standard. And let's watch this video. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. Before you ask me what my ethnicity is, ask yourself, why do you need to know? Why do you need to know? Hey, you. Don't comment on my body. It's mine. Respect that. Respect it. Hey, you. If you wouldn't say it to my face, don't say it on social media. Say it to my face, not my Facebook. It's about us. Hey, sea wolves, it's about integrity. As a sea wolf, I will conduct myself with integrity with my dealings with my students, faculty, and staff. It's about us. Hey, sea wolves, it's about excellence. As a sea wolf, I will strive for excellence in my work and relationships. It's about us. Hey, sea wolves, it's about respect. As a sea wolf, I will respect the rights and dignity of others. It's about us. Hey, sea wolves, it's about responsibility. As a sea wolf, I have the responsibility to be an ethical member of the community. It's about integrity. It's about excellence. It's about respect. It's about responsibility. It's about us. 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 Let's give a round of applause for the Seawolf commitment. So, as you can see, the Seawolf commitment had four key words. I don't know if you got them, but they are integrity, excellence, responsibility, and respect, right? So, in this class, we are going to do a lot of discussions. We're going to talk about a lot of different things. Some things are going to get heated. They are. Last semester was very heated for my class. You know, and my point is, you know, without this respect, for example, without the integrity, you can't have those conversations and actually have a good outcome. And so we hold you all to respect each other and respect your opinions. You don't have to agree. No one's forcing you to agree because we're a democracy. You don't have to agree. But the thing is, you know, you have to respect everyone else's opinions, right? And also, in this space right here, we do have some expectations for you. For example, respect the presenters who are here, you know, Respect the people around you. Integrity, you know, don't cheat, obviously. You know, and excellence. We want you to do well in this class. We want you guys to be awesome, and we want everyone to get an A. And lastly, responsibility. Responsibility for your actions. If something happens, you know, take responsibility. It's, it's on you, unless it's on someone else. Then, you know, obviously you don't have to take responsibility. And so now I will pass it off to the next person. Okay, so next we're going to talk about course expectations and what we expect from you. First and foremost, class ends when the presenter ends, not at 12.50, so don't pack your stuff up, don't rush, uh, like put papers away, just finish, let the presenter finish and then you can leave. Secondly, if you need to leave for extenuating circumstances, please let your professor and or your TA know. Leaving, um, having class at 1 o'clock is not an extenuating circumstance. I have class at 1 o'clock, we can all run together. And lastly, no cell phones, even to check uh, the time, no laptops, no tablets, you can unplug for 50 minutes while you listen to presenters speak. All right, and next, um, be able to disconnect for 50 minutes from the outside world and instead connect and engage with the presenters and with your peers around you. Um, don't do other work during the presentation and respect confidentiality of what is shared um, by the presenters and by the people in this class.
Um, I have a couple of other things too. And just to reiterate what Bobby had said, um, regardless of whatever your reason is to be here in this class, yeah, we are expecting that level of responsibility and engagement. Um, and we do have a high degree of expectation that we show up. And this class is something that we've worked very hard to be able to offer. Um, and it's something that I want you all to be able to enjoy and accomplish. And in order to do that, we all have to show up. And we want to make sure that we're not in disengaging in a way that's going to affect the people around us. Because we need to respect all the reasons by which we are here in this class. Um, and the other, um, the other piece I wanted to mention, too, is that try not to uh, drive over here. <laughs> so I know it's kind of far. But for sustainability reasons, I mean, if everybody took one car times 240 people, that's a lot of carbon emissions. Um, and the other thing you'll probably realize, too, is if 240 people drive over here, there ain't going to be any parking spots for nobody. So it's going to take you just as long to find a parking spot and all that stuff. So I challenge you to get your daily exercise by walking over here and to your next class. And you will be healthier for it. Okay, so... Um Part of this course is a lot of reflection. We're going to ask you to reflect on the experiences that you're going to have. Um, the discussions that we're going to have, it's a lot of reflection because we truly believe in that when you reflect on an experience, on a conversation, on a lesson, that you're going to retain more and you're going to learn from it. And so what we're going to ask you to do um, is write a letter to your future self. So if you can get out a piece of paper and a pen, that would be awesome. So while you're getting that out, as Alex said, you're going to reflect a lot from the things you learned in this course. You're going to grow as a person. You're going to grow as a leader because of this course. Um, so when writing your letter to yourself, you're going to talk about where you see yourself at the end of the semester. Um, do you consider yourself a leader now and why? Focus on now because you're going to want to read this later and see how you have grown because you're going to want to see that change. Um, and then what do you hope to gain from this course? You're going to write yourself that letter. We're going to give you time. But this is your attendance piece for today. This is how we're going to know you were here. You're giving it to your TAs. So that way, at the end of the semester, we can give it back to you, and you can see how you have grown as a leader. Cool? Yes. All right. I'm going to have you all hang on to those for a second before uh, I'm going to go into this next piece here. So as many of you all know, because I had you raise your hands, and it was a good number of them, those folks know that this class is a requirement for the leadership positions that are on the screen here. And for others, they may have just, you know, said, I heard this class is awesome. I heard that Alvin guy is really great. I'm going to sign up for his class, right? Maybe. We'll find out. I don't know. Um, but some folks might be here because, you know what? You needed GE Area E, and you heard some good things about this class. Just want to let everybody know that the leadership applications are due on February 5th. So it's not too late. Again, for those of you who have already applied, um, you know that you have to put in your GPA, update your transcript, update your spring 2016 classes, and all of that good stuff that we've been communicating with you about. For those of you who haven't or are on the fence, definitely consider it. You're already in the seat. We already started the conversations. We can continue exploring the possibility of you putting into practice some form of leadership in your life. So if you have any questions about any of these positions here, feel free to ask any of the TAs, ask the faculty, or come and talk to me about it, and we can explore some options. There are a lot of opportunities available, and the thing that we always say to folks, leaders come in all shapes and sizes. So if you have this idea that, you know, I remember my summer orientation leader being like, rah, 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 and really extroverted, but you know what? We need leaders for all types of people because not everybody is extroverted and rah, 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 right? We need to be able to have leaders that are representative of our entire student population. So keep that in mind as well. So let's have a conversation about it if you're on the fence. Right, you can switch the slide, please. Um, and what I'm going to be doing, too, after this class is I'm going to email you all the websites that are appropriate for those leadership applications. So... I know it's not up there. I didn't want you all to have to write it down and lose it and crumple it up and have it end up in your backpack somewhere. So I'm going to email it to everybody. Consider clicking on it. Check it out.
I'm going to give you now some instructions for what you're going to do with those letters. So those letters, make sure you have your name on it. Like, like they said earlier, it's going to count as your attendance for today. What we're going to do when you leave is we're going to have you go to designated areas where you're going to meet with your TA and turn in your letter so that you can have um, your attendance taken for today. So I'm going to have the TAs come up and let you know where they're going to be. But do not start packing up yet. Do not leave. We still have some other things too. Hello again. My name is Bobby. I'm Alvin's TA for Thursdays at 4, and I will be right there by that door. Again, my name is Veronica. I'm with Alexis Shapiro. Our class is today, um, and I will be outside in the courtyard area right outside of the lobby. I'm Lauren. Um, I'm with Bruce, and I'm going to be outside. Um, I'm Jamie. I'm with Kristen Denver. Our section is on Thursday at 4, and we're going to be in the lobby. Hi, my name is Kayla Yonke. I'm with Tremaine. I will be meeting right up on the second staircase right there, and our section is today at 4 o'clock. Hi, my name is Alex Parker. So I'm working with Kristen Denver Thursdays from 6 to 7.50. We're going to meet right in this general corner here. We also have two TAs that were not able to make it today. So there are two other sections that I want to mention. Casey LaBarbera's section. Um, Casey, do you want to raise your hand and remind us what time your class is? Monday's at 3. Okay, you already met. But I do have Casey situated outside of here. And then we also have Kirsten Serby's class. Kirsten, can you raise your hand, please? And can you remind us of the time? Okay. Um, Kirsten's class is going to meet her in the lobby. Okay. So now you know what Kirsten and Casey look like. And then um, just for the closing piece, I'm really looking forward to this semester. Um, for a variety of reasons. We have a lot of faculty who are, re are joining this team for the first time. I think that they bring with them a lot of energy, a lot of experience, and new ways of looking at things. So I'm excited to see what y'all come up with. And I'm excited to hear from you all as students what your experience was like in the class. We also have a lot of TAs who have done this position before and or new TAs. Again, new ideas with a lot of wisdom. You have a lot of opportunity to tap into their brains and see what student leadership is like on campus. So we're going to be meeting here every Tuesday, and I'm looking forward to it. And like we said, and what Bobby kind of mentioned earlier, show up. I'm really looking forward to what that looks like, and we're going to make this experience what you can make of it. So I will see you all next week. Mm -hmm.